Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I'm making fall candle holders and everything came from the Dollar Tree. And I'll show you what it looks like with the lights out. And aren't these going to look pretty on a fall table? You want to see how I did this? Stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, what you need is a square base from the Dollar Tree, a glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree, some orange glitter, which I know you can get that at the Dollar Tree, a piece of paper folded to catch your glitter, some gloss Mod Podge, two sizes of paintbrushes, one large, one thin. Your handy dandy glue gun, some glue sticks, and silk leaves. Lots of leaves. Okay, the first thing I did was put the gloss mod podge on a styrofoam plate. And I got my leaves together and I separated them by color. Um, if you don't have them already flat, they peel off the bushes. Okay. I'm going to start on one side. And I'm going to put a nice thick coat of the Mod Podge all over it. And the nice thing about Mod Podge is that it dries clear. So I'm going to put these metallic ones that I have. If you don't have metallic, use whatever you have on hand. I'm going to put these towards the back and put the colored leaves on top. And that's got a nice thick coat. And I'm just going to brush it down. And I don't want it to go above the line of the vase. And then I'm going to put another one on top of that, a little smaller. Make sure you get the edges of the leaves so that it'll lay flat. And these may try to pop up and you just go back in and push them down because some of them are dimensional other ones are very flat like this one is relatively flat And you can put on as much or as little as you want. I 
and this edge keeps coming up so I'm just going to keep coming back in as it dries and push it back down into the Mod Podge. And then as it dries you can turn it over and start working on the next side. And it takes a while because this is very wet. And you, you could do it this way. And work on all four sides. I just don't want to get the Mod Podge all over the bottom. And we'll be back when I finish this. Okay, as it dries, the leaves are going to start coming off just a little bit. And you just go back in and keep adding a little more as you need a little more Mod Podge as you need it. And this is normal. Don't panic. And the reason this one's pulling away so much is because it's got so much texture, but it will lay flat as it dries. And I'll just keep coming back in and pressing it down into the Mod Podge as it dries. Maybe I shouldn't have put it around the corner. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, that one was bugging me way too much. I took it off and I put a smaller one without as much dimension to it. And it's laying much better. And I'll just keep coming back and pressing it into the glue as it dries. And I've been letting this sit for about 15 minutes before I come back. And we're almost there. Okay, this has been sitting for about 45 minutes so far. And it's starting to adhere really well. But you can see that through the inside that it's going to take a while to dry. When this all becomes clear, then I'll move on to the next stage. So basically I'm just going to let it sit overnight. And we'll be back when that's done. Okay, I just woke up. It's been six hours. And they're all down very nicely. And you can see by looking through here that it's about 99% dry. So we can get moving on to the next step. Glitter! My favorite part. Okay, I got some of the Mod Podge and the small paintbrush. And I'm just going to go around the top of the vase with a heavy coat of the Mod Podge.
And once it's coated to my liking, move that out of the way. And I'm going to start sprinkling it. And I don't worry about it getting inside because inside is just glass. And that will pour right back out. And I love what the orange glitter does for these leaves. And I'm just going to set that aside until it dries and then with a soft paintbrush you can get that out. Now for the candlestick. Now I like to put this on a little thick so it doesn't dry in a hurry and I have a chance to get the glitter onto it. And just repeat putting the glitter on. And once it's covered, just set it aside. And if you miss a part, you can always go back after it's dried. And I'm going to set that aside, let it dry, and come back when it's done. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm going to save all this glitter, because I always have a use for it. That's why you keep a folded piece of paper handy when you're using glitter. Okay, it's been sitting for about half an hour and it should be pretty dry. So I'm just taking a soft, dry brush and dusting off all the excess. I'm going to do the same with the vase.
Okay. Now I'm getting the hot glue gun out. I'm going to turn this upside down. Because it actually makes it easier to center it. And I am going to put if my glue gun will cooperate. There we go. I'm going to put a pretty decent amount of glue on here. And get that centered as best I can. And I am putting a little pressure on here just so that the seal is good. For a candle. I'm going to put a candle in here. I don't know if it'll show because I've got so much sunlight coming in. Uh, I put a cranberry mandarin tea light in there to give it some fall scent. And it's really hard to see so I'm going to have to come back tonight when it gets darker. To get a better picture. But I like this so much I think I'm going to make a second one. And we'll be back this evening. The more I thought about this, the more I decided to put some Mod Podge over the glitter to seal it in. And I'm going to cover the glass too, which gives it that frosty look. But since this is probably going to be on the kitchen or dining room table, I don't want the glitter to come off while we're eating. You're welcome, husband. That's an ongoing joke between my husband and me. He says that he hates glitter and it's, he calls it the herpes of crafting because it's everywhere. But that's pretty well covered and this should be dry in half hour to an hour. And as it gets darker, I'll light these up and we'll see how they look. Okay, it's dark. The candles are lit. And let's see how it looks with the lights out. Oh, I like that. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating everyone.